Irreverent. Opaque. So the bus driver that I called a fat fuck, which I feel bad now, kind of cool. The other day, I, I don't know, I was reading a book, and I seen the bus coming, then I got lost in the book again. I look up, he was hesitating. He kind of was like, he thought about me. He was like, he's like, man, I was waiting for you. Then I seen you read the book again, and I was about to leave. I was like, oh man, I appreciate you. So I just seen him again right now. We're like, cool. I feel bad though every time. I keep thinking fat fuck, fat fuck. But uh, I went to school this morning just to be up. Now I got to go to work for four hours. I have a three day weekend. So I'm gonna get a lot of shit done. I'm gonna try to catch up on some running, catch up on reading and do all my homework. Uh, I didn't really understand the math, but then I seen my, I seen that I have, there's a beautiful fucking counselor. She helps me pick classes. Very beautiful and young. Not young, but like, she's probably like, I don't know, 26. Perfect age, you know, she's beautiful. We had a good conversation together. She's about to run a marathon tomorrow, a virtual one. So she's gonna run it like, she has her own route to run. But I, I, don't, I don't know, it's a virtual one. So instead of like running the alley marathon where everybody runs the same route, it's gonna be a different route. But anyway, uh, so I added some classes. Instead of being focused on psychology, I went undecided. This past week, my English teacher, I felt like he was speaking to me, you know, because a lot of these young people, they don't give a fuck about writing. And the one that does give a fuck and that are young and that are precocious, precocious being, being young and grasping something and, and being good at it, they consider that to be genius, but that shit is, it's a practice. It's not necessarily, you know, we think genius is somebody that's born with something. But if precociousness is a trait of genius, then that means they just decided to grasp it at a young age. So anyway, what the fuck? I just went on. A, so anyway, so I, I, I picked some classes, picked literature. Because my, my teacher in my English composition class, which composition, he, he's teaching us different ways, you know, cause and effect essays, you know, argumentative essays, exemplification essays, narrative essays, um, you know, etc. And how to, you know, citation and put together a works cited page and the in-text citation. And I fucking hate structure, you know? It's not my shit, but he sees me reading. So he decided to like show us like this YouTube video about like this dope ass illustration of like what reading is and how it's so amazing. The bus is coming. And then he, he even said, he's like, guys, like, you know, so I think some people should take a literature a literature class. And I felt like he was speaking to me like because he, he sees my interest. And I've been posting some poems on some of the, the fucking paper boards at school some of like the i don't the fucking boards people could safety pin shit on not safety pin like bulletin boards at school but he notices i really love to read so he encouraged the class but i felt like he was speaking to me so and now i'm gonna take a philosophy class as well so We never spend time looking up, you know? If we weren't so distracted and we lived a, some sort of native life, some sort of wilderness life, some sort of life out in the plains, you know? You'd probably spend a lot more time looking at the sun. <clears throat> Talking to the powers that are much stronger than ourselves and asking, why is life like this? I think that's what we would probably be doing. We hardly look up. I do. How are you ever going to go to the stars if you never look up and never try to expand your mind?
you're alive today and you've decided to endure and push forward, you're doing a good job. You can always do more. I love you. Get some in before I leave, man. I gotta get a fucking award for working by myself and how good my fucking section was. Let's get it in though. No backpack. It doesn't add weight, it just swings on me. It adds weight. Thank you, thank you. Arduous. Onerous. From the mind of James, he did an eight minute plank uh, today or yesterday, whenever he filmed that. And uh, I did a three minute one yesterday after watching him, and it was pretty hard. Um, actually real hard. I was shaking. I'm going to try for four minutes today. You know, I'm not competing with him. He can dust me for sure. Um, but I'm going to see if I can hold one for four minutes. So let's get to it and see what happens here. Start my watch. Okay. Uh, watching somebody do static holes is kind of like watching paint dry, but uh, I can assure you these aren't real easy. It's one minute. Okay, two minutes. I'm at the halfway mark and I'm already trembling. Wow. Now I'm trembling, shaking. Ah, three thirty. Hold on for thirty more seconds.
Damn, they said fuck their neighbors. Is this shit? Having Momo parties and guitar. <laughs> Neurosis. I started listening to Beethoven. <laughs> I was listening to Beethoven to do my homework today. I think it was uh, when I was doing my reading. Uh, maybe, maybe it was last night. I was listening to Beethoven. Any type of music with no words <clears throat> kind of doesn't distract your mind kind of makes you <coughs> keep flowing you know anyway uh, peace <laughs>